Hey guys, it's Abby. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a prayer nook. It's really simple and it'll really help your prayer life. I'm actually on my way to Walmart right now to get some things, you know, some candles and some crosses for a little decoration. So a prayer nook is just a little area so you can relax and have your silent prayer time. For college students, it's really hard to have your own little room you can have so you can just have silent prayer time with Jesus. So a prayer nook is kind of just a little bookshelf or just a little area in your room you set up so you can just sit at, read some spiritual books, pray, and just relax and it's really great. Alright, so we just went to Walmart and good time of the year because it is Easter so they have these cute little crosses this one says hope and I got another one that says grace and I got some candles and of course need a lighter to light some candles so I got these to kind of be a decoration for the little prayer nooks and because I like to um, light a candle when I'm praying praying it's kind of my prayer candle so when I know that when that candle is lit my prayers are being sent up to God. And it's just a really great way. It's kind of relaxing, it has a nice smell. So yeah, just kind of simple little decoration really just make it more comforting. So as you can tell, I am a college student, so I don't really have a whole lot of space to have my own little prayer area. So I have a little area right by my desk, but more importantly, the main thing, if you want a really good prayer area, need to have it clean. All right, so now that it's all clean, it's ready to decorate. So as you can tell, I had quite a bit of stuff on there. So since I do have a small room, I need something for storage and to have a little prayer area. So this holds my makeup, some school supplies, jewelry, just all kinds of things that I kind of need. And of course, chocolate, because sometimes you need chocolate to feel better about yourself. All right, so now the counter is all clean and reorganized. I feel so much better about it. So actually, this little cube shelf thing is right next to my desk. And I did that on purpose, partly because of space and partly so I can sit on my super comfy office chair. And when I'm working on homework, I can just look over here, breathe and relax. So over my desk, I have pictures of a retreat that I have worked quite a few times over the last couple years. I have the first scripture painting I ever did, which is my favorite Bible verse. And it says, Jesus replied, you do not realize now what I'm doing, but later you will understand. It's kind of a nice reminder that I don't know what's going on, but God does and he's in charge and he knows I'll be okay. So Sarah Swafford came to campus a couple months ago. So these three are some of her prints that she sells. And I think they were super cute and they're nice little prayers. Irene talked at chapel a few months a few weeks ago and so she talked about prayer of serenity and this was the card that they actually handed out a few times before I left for work I've actually prayed this and it made me feel better and relaxed before I went to work because work stresses me out and so over here this says JMJ so there's Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and the little holy family. I thought it was super cute, and it's nice to see the whole family, see Jesus and Mary when I'm praying. So, I have my little organization of my usual supplies of what I need in life, because I need storage room. I got this cute little basket from home. It's nice, so I borrowed it. This right here is all books that I'm either going to you, going to read, or I'm reading right now. These two are actually devotionals for Lent, and so is this one. And I'm kind of reading Resisting Happiness. I'm not always great at it. On the side over here is the prayer of St. John Vianney. St. John Vianney was a well-known saint. He actually, his heart never decayed, and so that's what's in this little box thing right here. 
his prayer is just really nice and it says I love you oh my god I like to say oh my lord and my only desire is to love you until the last breath of my life I love you oh my infinitely lovable god and I would rather die loving you than live without loving you I love you lord and the only grace I ask is to love you eternally my god if my tongue cannot say in every moment that I love you I'm, I want my heart to repeat it to you as often as I draw breath. Amen. So when I sit down over here, I to relax and to pray, I get my candle. I actually wrote on the inside prayer candle, so I know that whenever I see it, grab a nice little lighter and I light it. And I, it's kind of like at chapel where, you know, when the candle is lit, I know this is my time to relax and to pray. I have the rock that I painted during the CDFC retreat that says, Lord have mercy in Latin. I have little prayer cards. These are prayers to Mary, or to another saint, and it's kind of just a nice little written prayer. I have my beautiful little rosary, a sign from Hobby Lobby that reminds me that God is always good. Some flowers, my little painting, and a cross that my fiance is actually a welder and that was one of the first things he made was this metal cross and he gave it to me and I absolutely love it. So of course I put it there so I could have a cross at my little prayer area. And it's nice and it really has helped my prayer life because I have this area in my room that I can just relax and pray. I know a lot of people have this and it's really awesome. And it's just, sometimes I'll just turn off all the lights and just, read and see my devotionals and pray and it's a really great thing to do before bed and just it's really improved my prayer life and made it more of an impact okay so now that i have my prayer nook all fixed up and looking all right i'm actually on my way to help a couple of girls with theirs because they have their started but they're not quite sure how they wanted to go or they need some reorganization so i'm on my way to go help them out okay so we're at aubrey's apartment now and we're helping her at her desk prayer nook so can you tell me why you chose this little corner in your room well i chose to use my desk because i don't use it to study anyway and so I decided to clean it off and just put some spiritual things there so that I had like a designated place to pray um, and it's nice because then I'll like it'll be like a reminder like whenever I look at it oh you need to you need to spend some time with God Of your little prayer net. So I think my, I have a couple favorite parts. First of all, I love that you put these things up here for me to see. My cousin made them for me, so they're very important to me. Um, I also love that you added a candle. I just think it's a great way to like set the mood for prayer. So how do you think this will impact your prayer life or make it any better? I think it will be good for me to have a specific place to pray while in my room because I usually use it for sleeping and other non-prayer things. So it'll be just good to have like this place where I can look at it and like feel um, convicted to pray. So this is Molly and this is her little prayer corner. So are there certain things you still want there? Cause I know you're trying to figure out some organization, so. Um. Yeah, definitely just like trying to be better organized, maybe make it more like prayerful, more like usable space. Um, I don't know, whatever your ideas bring us to. Fun fact, if you wanna know if something's level, use your phone. <laughs> I did not know that. Yes. Yeah. I use it all the time. Like just with the picture on or the camera on or? So there's an app called, they changed it, it's called Measure. Uh -huh. So we just finished Molly's little prayer corner. We moved some pictures up on the wall and her cross and put some books that she's not reading at all <laughs> into the box. 
and then reorganize this so now she has some space and you can see all the little things. This is Molly. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite part of your little corner? I think I really love how it just looks more organized. I love the pictures on the wall. I think that looks really like welcoming and inviting. I love the cross up here. I think that's really cute. Um, I think the space just looks um, a lot more usable, um, easy to find things. Like I can easily grab like one of these books um, that I am actually reading. <laughs> um, and then like I have my prayer jar right here um, and I can pull out prayers or um, do like a different chaplet, the Holy Spirit, things like that. Just more easily accessible. I also really like the camera that we have here, or the, the candle, <laughs> candle that we have there. Um, just to, like invite God into it with like the symbol of the flame. <laughs> so how do you think this will help your prayer life? Um, I think it'll help my prayer life because it just kind of, kind of gives me like a space in my room to like have as my like prayer nook, a space to like really sit down. That's not on my bed so I don't fall asleep as often. And um, yeah, it just creates like a welcoming environment to welcome the Holy Spirit. So this is Maddie, and this is her little prayer nook. She has some things that she wants up here, but she doesn't know how. So are there certain things you want in certain places? Um, or... For me, um, I kind of like, just like to, like to change it up a little bit. So when we work on it together, I don't really care where we put it, as long as it like looks organized and neat. And then I like want to add this I Am Thankful tree to it. So All right, so we're all done setting up her little prayer nook. So Maddie, what is your favorite part of your little prayer area? So even though I love everything about it, my favorite part would be my sign up there that says feed your soul because soul is my word of the year. And so that just reminds me every single day to think about that. And so how has this impacted your prayer life or made it better? So I recently just got this prayer box and I think that's impacted my prayer life because now when I tell people, like, I'll pray for them, I can come back home and write them actually down. And that way I remember them for the whole week. And that way I'll just always remember to pray for them. Okay, so we have all of the videos down. And looking at all the girls and how their low corners, it really shows that everyone's corner and decoration is so unique and different. Which makes sense because everyone is. But it really shows how each, even though it's so different and it fits everyone's room differently, you can have a big desk or a bookshelf or even a tiny little box on your floor. It can help your prayer life because you know that you have that smaller area dedicated to God and you can just relax there. And it can really make an impact and make a difference. And I was so excited about this project and I'm glad I did it. Have a great day.